So thank you so much for talking to CNN News 18. To begin with, you know, post-COVID, how do you see the investment scenario uh, for Tamil Nadu? Is it improving? Because during COVID, we've we've seen how it was a dull period for investors. But now are investors really trying to expand operations? And is Tamil Nadu one of their favorite destinations? Yes, ma'am. Thanks, first of all, for this opportunity. In fact, uh, even during the COVID situations, the industrial climate in Tamil Nadu was not affected. The investments in Tamil Nadu, in fact, has really increased uh, multifold, in fact. That is mainly because of the confidence reposed on the chief minister and his uh, leadership. The chief minister, in fact, advised us, he has instructed us, that the industrial activities should not be stopped um, citing the COVID uh, restrictions. So the industrial houses were allowed to run, especially the mobility uh, was ensured. And even when it came for uh, vaccination, the industries were uh, given the preference. The CM himself went to the industries and he inaugurated it. So th this, me, this has really conveyed a positive vibes across the uh, industrial climate of the state. So many investors, um, be it from the uh, foreign land or from the in Indian investors, uh, they have all preferred uh, and uh, they have chosen the Tamil Nadu is their favorite destination for uh, investments. Uh, looking at countries, you know, uh, you know, many companies from China are also trying to, you know, shift base to India. So, uh, you know, uh, are you getting interests from companies based in China? Uh, if not naming the companies, but at least how do you see the situation? And is Tamil Nadu open to, you know, welcoming companies to shift base from China to uh, to Tamil Nadu? When you look at Indian yes. scenario, yes, yes, we are quite open to them. In fact, uh, because of the geopolitical changes. There are many companies now moving out from one country to the uh, other one. And India seems to be one of their uh, favorable destinations. And within the subcontinent, we would like to place uh, Tamil Nadu as their uh, most preferred destination for uh, their investments. So in this connections, we have invited many companies. We are also in the process of having a, a dialogue with them, wooing them for their uh, future investments in uh, Tamil Nadu in certain particular uh, sectors. They have also convinced uh, keen interest. So uh, this is one scenario which will have a win-win situation for both the uh, state as well as for the uh, investors. Right. Uh, sir, if you look at uh, if you look at Karnataka because of the situation, do you think there's some growing interest uh, for companies to shift base to Tamil Nadu, and is Tamil Nadu ready to accommodate them? Definitely, we will be we will be willing to accommodate the companies which are moving not only from Karnataka from any other state for that matter. Mm -hmm. Karnataka being our uh, neighboring state, especially when it, is, uh, it has got a very close proximity, Bangalore has got a very close proximity to our industrial hub, mm. uh, namely Uzur or Krishnagiri, mm. where a lot of industrial activities are happening in many uh, new uh, emerging fields like uh, e-vehicle manufacturing or electronics mm. uh, or auto components, whatsoever it is. So this uh, proximity uh, to the state of Tamil Nadu, mm. uh, the, since Karnataka is the nearing state, we find a lot of interest being evinced by the uh, companies who are already anchored in Karnataka to move out from uh, their state or from Bandra to Tamil Nadu. So this is happening and we are quite open to them. If they are willing to come, we will definitely accommodate them because we have got a fantastic industrial climate as I had explained to you earlier. So if they are coming, if they are willing, we will be uh, the happiest uh, state to accommodate them. In right. fact, It is anyway for our the overall industrial growth and that will eventually lead for the employment of uh, the uh, Tamil Nadu youngsters. Right. So in Sri Lanka, considering the, the, the crisis, the economic crisis, uh, how, do you see, uh, how do you see it moving forward? I mean, uh, from companies from Sri Lanka, are you in touch with them? Are people trying to uh, come here for help, uh, especially companies that are really uh, wanting to shift their base from Sri Lanka? Do you find growing interest from that island as well? I mean, uh, so far we have not received any concrete proposals from the business uh, houses in Sri Lanka. Mm. It is quite unfortunate that the country is going through a crisis. And from our part, we are now trying to help those uh, who are entangled over that. Uh, the chief minister, during his uh, recent visit to Delhi, when he met the prime minister, he made a specific request that through the Indian embassy in uh, uh, Jaffna, we should really help out the, we reach out to the uh, Tamil population over there and help them out. So it is. It stands there actually uh, right now, and when it comes for uh, business proposals or investments, and uh, the companies who are willing to move out of Sri Lanka due to this crisis, mm -hmm. and that needs to be really uh, studied. In fact, because so far uh, I may not be in a position to 
give you the details because uh, none of the companies uh, i can't name them right now but there may be interest because of these situations there can be chances for these companies to move out of uh, the uh, sri lanka and to look for other opportunities not only in tamil nadu but also in other uh, neighboring countries also if tamil nadu is chosen and they are approaching us yes, we will definitely welcome them